and this is us for tonight I think it's nice and early in the morning found this spot um, Ryan and Lauren actually found this spot yesterday but obviously I was already set up when they came to where I was they just said that we're gonna move here Chris and Laws and Ash and Laws who the other two families I've been traveling with are camping at a paid site over there. They can't get their caravans in here, unfortunately. It's just a bit too tight, but we've got this fucking wicked spot down here. Got the hammock set up already, overlooking this beautiful river. Very much gives me uh, a Chuka vibes down here. Bloody beautiful, as you can see. River over here. Definitely going in for a swim a bit later on, I think. Again, it's such a shame. You find these beautiful campsites and all over, like every place that I've been, you find this, right? Just wet wipes and people going to the toilet, toilet paper, rubbish. Like there's a tea bag just there, like it's not that hard guys, just take a rubbish bag with you. I've gotten a habit that every time I go to a new spot, I get a garbage bag and I just go around and tidy it. Therefore, I'm not looking at it the whole time that I'm there. I feel better about the place that I'm actually staying. But if you gotta go to the toilet, use toilet paper and dig a hole. There's nothing wrong with that. It just, it's just lazy, that's it. Everyone generally has a shovel with them. If you don't, take a shovel, it's part of going camping, so. Just getting sick of seeing it, it's, it's, it's such a shame. After we set up, we reached out to the others and invited them over to our campsite for a fire. We put on some tunes, got out the paddle boards and chucked some scotch fillets on the fire for dinner. just left that beautiful uh, riverside campsite, Blackwood River. Um, yeah, loved that spot. It was definitely giving me uh, Murray River vibes. Um, beautiful spot to swim, salt water, but uh, beautiful temperature in, uh, in the water. Uh, we're moving forward today. We're heading, we're pointing our noses in the direction of Margaret River. We are booked in at a vineyard that we'll be camping on for the next three nights. Uh, and then I'm picking up my lovely girlfriend from the airport in Brusselton. So, very excited. <laughs> It's been a lot of things, but I've never been basic Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't 
claiming Like what you claiming, what you saying What you bout and what you need I'm at the house, ain't at the club I'm really chilling with my seat I love my poppy, put me on I'm really chilling with OGs Don't test my gangster, think I'm Man, we gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time But we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine, good wine Tryna be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, I look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine Streets get ugly, yeah, I seen it. Please believe me, I be tough. Don't like smoking, like so long, so I keep sipping on this cup. Don't crave attention, just a mention. I be chilling in the cut. Glass got empty, now I'm searching through my wallet for a buck. Dollar bill, let some change in my pocket, oh no. Hit my girl, can you spot me? I just need a little loan. Out the house and I'm just vibing, vibing, vibing on the low. She said she on the way, but she gon' ride it, ride it, ride it. Guys, just when I thought this region couldn't get any better, I had to go check my pulse. Look what I found. Besides this awesome venue, this place also gives you paddock to plate experience. Every Friday night they run an event called Raise the Stakes. At 5 o'clock Thursday night they open the ballot. First in best dress you reserve one of four massive beef shins, T-bone steak, sirloin or ribeye. Yeah. Yeah. No coriander. <laughs> Oh, the two bones too. Oh my goodness. Look at that, garlic, butter, oh, stop. Oh my god. What is this? This food was mouth-watering good, and the frothies selected were on point. All in all, we had a really awesome night.
today's the big day. Jess is flying in. It's been almost 10 weeks since I've seen her and it has been extremely difficult, but we've made it 10 weeks. <laughs> She's landing and we're going on a bit of an adventure. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> Can't wait to see her. Anyway, she's due to touch down in the next half an hour. I'm gonna park up, meet her in the airport, and then we're gonna hit the road. And she's here! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have some fun this week. It's awesome to see her. Um, plan today is we're booked in at Fre like a caravan park um, in Frio because we want to go out for dinner tonight. So it's a really nice brewery down there, Little Creatures Brewery that overlooks the harbour. So we're uh, going to make our way north from here um, and yeah, sign in and then go for a couple of bevies, I think. Yeah. <laughs> So we were heading back when we came across this guy busking. He's literally playing PVC pipes with his thongs. 
<lacht> Mint.
This is where we were aiming for, and that's where we got to. <laughs> so close. She's doing good. Super soft that beach. Yeah, you got pulled in the hill. So just the beach. So when I came down the hill, there was a wave coming in, which scared the shit out of me. Yeah, it's nearly it's nearly high tide, but again, like the other night when we were down in um, where was it, Cape Le Grand? Um, yeah, you just can't account for the swell, and the swell was pretty big. So we're gonna keep pushing around the coast and see how we go. And look what we've found to play in. Couple of sand dunes, Jesse. Oh, way now. I mean, that way. <laughs> we'll go this way. This is uncharted territory. I know. I know. Then we'll go up, then we'll go right here. And we'll drive up the top and follow those tracks there. Now keep momentum up. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So we were driving through the dunes looking for a spot to camp when... Oh my god! That's next level bog! Having fun? Night two 
on Jess is on tour. <laughs> this little stint up the west coast. We are just south of Lancelin. Just gonna cook some dinner on the fire. Um, just have an early night, I think. Um, both pretty tired, but yeah, this is us. All set up here. Beaches over there. It's actually a bit windy today, so we've just ducked down behind the dunes and found this little opening here. So, yeah, bloody beautiful. All right, we're back on the road. We are heading north. We have been told to check out Lancelin Pub. Apparently it has the best beer in, garden. In Western Australia. In Western Australia. Uh, thanks very much, Robbie Williams, for the recommendation. We'll, uh, we'll go in, grab a beer, and hit the road and head north, I think. See what we find. The food was good and yeah, we had a good feed. Uh, we're hitting the road, we're heading up to, what is it? Kilbari. Kilbari National Park. Um, the wind is supposed to sort of stay up, unfortunately. There's a lot of beautiful beaches along here, but it's just gonna be no fun. Um, Kilbari is like the first national park that's north of here. Um, it's five hours, so we're gonna smash it out today um, and then hopefully spend a day or two up there and then maybe come back down the coast as, as the weather gets settles down towards the end of the week. But um, yeah, we'll go check out the national park and uh, Jess will get a bit of an insight as to what WA has to offer. And, yeah. yeah, let's do it. 